not one ACL, not two ACLs, but three ACLs in one season, you know, first Amy Buendia, then Tyrone Minks, and now Bubuka Kamara, and also, I'm hearing Diego Carlos is injured as well, injuries galore, but wait there, yeah, wait there, in the famous words of Jurgen Klopp, mentality monsters, just know that speech Unai Emery is going to give his players is going to hit different. Everyone thinks now Villa are going to fall off. Sometimes in a season, you need something to happen that sparks the players. And I feel like this is the thing that can spark the players to start winning some games, man. Let's get into this match preview. Yes, yes, people, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. And of course, we are outside Villa Park for the match preview. Fulham against Aston Villa this Saturday, 3 o'clock kickoff. And it's a big game, man. A big game. Like I said at the start, injuries galore, man. Injuries galore. Buendia, Mings, Duran, Kamara, Konsa, Carlos. Injuries right now for Villa, man. But like I said at the start, this can probably be a way for the players to spark up now. Start getting results. Like I said, Unai Emery might give a speech to the players to perform now. Like I said before, you need sometimes something to happen in a season where the players just boost up their confidence and start winning games, man. We're coming back from the loss against Manchester United. And I have to say, it was a very, very good performance. Just went clinical in front of goal. And that's what happens sometimes in Premier League games. You need to take your chances. You need to be clinical in front of goal. And against Fulham, we have to be clinical, man. So yeah, like I said, we're coming back from the loss against United. And Fulham is a game we can win, yeah? A lot of people saying Villa season's done now. The right thing is off. Well, like I said, we need to prove people wrong. Um, now, there's a few tweaks that Unai Emery can possibly make in his system, the formation, tactics and stuff like that. There's a star boy, as you guys know, Tim I. Rubenum. Can we see Unai Emery starting him against Fulham now? Can he show up? Can he show up for Villa now? Or is it too soon for him? I wouldn't mind him, you know. I wouldn't mind him starting for Villa right now and filling in Bubakar Kamara's role, man. Because I think he's a top, top talent. I think he's a very good player. And he can become a star for us, man. So, can we see him play against the uh, next to Douglas Louise? We're going to have to wait and see for that. Can we see him again drop back maybe and play with Douglas Louise? Maybe a Tielemans play with Douglas Louise in that pivot. There's a lot of things that can happen. Well, let's get straight into it. So, as you guys know, then Danka is gone. Yeah, he's gone unknown. So, Unai Emery must have thought to himself, Tim I. Rubenham's there. He can fill in Bubaka Kamara's role if he does get injured. And, of course, as you guys know, he is injured. So, like I said, can we see him come in and play that role man i would love to see that i would love to see that man and really see how he flourishes on the unite emery system um but yeah let's just touch a bit on fulham currently 12th in the league and they are coming back from the 3-1 win against bournemouth and i have to say i thought bournemouth are gonna batter them and play some good football bournemouth uh, but yeah they are coming back from that win and let's just touch on the previous result against fulham at their ground craven cottage and you know who was a manager that time you know who was manager that time steamy gerard and you know what happened after that game? We got the P45 and he was on his bike. He asked Tel Aviv, I'll see you later, man. But forget them times there, it's different now. We got Unai Emery now, it's all changed, man. But yeah, them times there were no good, man. 3 0, we got battered that game. But yeah, them times there were no good, man. But let's just touch a bit on some of the threats Fulham possess. The first one, man, I have to say, the striker right now, he's got two goals in two games, I think, Munez. Um, he's a player we're going to have to watch out for. Willian as well. Chelsea reject, he's come back now to Fulham. And I have to say, he's playing well this season, man. Marco Silva's getting the best out of him, I have to say. So, yeah, he's a threat. Paulini, as you guys know, he's a good player. Um, Bobby D. Cordova, Reed, he's a good player as well. Anthony Robinson, both their fullbacks. They like to go forward quite a lot, man. So, both their fullbacks, we're going to have to watch out for them. All right, people, let's get into my lineup now. And I have to say, there might be a few changes, a few tweaks. Because, like I said, there's a lot of injuries right now. But let's get straight into it. So, of course, in goal, Emiliano Martinez. Right back, I'm going to go with Matty Cash. Centre backs now. Paul Torres needs to come back in this lineup. He's been on the bench. He's had his rest, but Paul Torres needs to play against Fulham. We've got injuries already at centre back. Kansa, Carlos. You know what I mean. Mings as well. Hey, we got Mings as well, man. Um, saw so today. He's uh, back training and stuff like that, man. Um, and yeah, man. Big up Mings, and hopefully he's back in the squad as soon as. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we got injuries, so I'm gonna play Paul Torres and Longley next to him. Man, it's gonna be Longley Chambers. No, no. Yeah, no Chambers, man. We'll play Paul Torres and Longley. Left back. People might say Luca Dean because he's better defensively. But I'm just going to go with Alex Moreno. Luca Dean, he came on against Manchester United and stuff. We've got a few minutes, but I 
I'm just going to go with Alex Moreno, man. I'm going to go with Alex Moreno. Centimeters now. This is where it gets a bit techy now. Yeah, can we see John McGinn play that pivot with Douglas Louise next to him? Or maybe a Tielemans? Or can we see Tim I. Ruben and come in and start against Fulham? Can we see the young Mola come in? Yeah, can we see him come in, man? I would love to see it, but I'll be real. I can't really see Unai Emery putting him straight in the lineup, man. I can't see that happening. But I'm going to go with Douglas Louise. I'm going to go with Tielemans. I'm going to go with Tielemans, man. It's not his best position in that double pivot. And I'd love to see Tim Irubinen, but I just don't think Unai Emery will play him straight. Um, and even McGinn as well. I don't think Unai Emery will play him in that double pivot. He's better in that second striker role. He's pressing. He's got the energy. He's got the tenacity. Everything like that, man. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to play Douglas Louise and Tielemans. On the right, Leon Bailey straight in there. On the left, Jacob Ramsey, man. He's really getting into himself now. Uh, and yeah, man, I feel like his performances are slowly, slowly coming back. His ball carrying has been there as well and stuff. Uh, so yeah, on the left, I'll go with Jacob Ramsey. And yeah, up top, I'm going to go with Ali Watkins, people. But yeah, people, that is my predicted lineup. Let me know yours in the comments below. Would you like to see Tim I. Rubin come in the squad? Would you like to see him again, perhaps playing the double pivot? T. Lemons playing the double pivot? Let me know. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on, man, with these injuries. But let me know your predicted lineups in the comments below. Now, score prediction time. Score prediction time. And you know what? I feel like the Villa players are going to play with confidence this game. I feel like I said at the start, I feel like Unai Emery is going to give a speech to these players, like Martin Luther King. Yeah, he's going to give a speech to these, man. And their confidence levels is just going to go up now. Because like I said at the start as well, a lot of people are doubting Villa. They, they, they're saying they're going to they're gonna drop off. They're saying they're going to fall off now. Rightly so, that's their opinion. We've had injuries and that's their opinion. But for me, I feel like the players are just going to be boosted up now. So I'm going to go with that. 3-1 to the Villa, 3-1 to the Villa, bold prediction, very, very bold prediction. Um, and don't get me wrong, Fulham, they're a good side, they got a good manager and stuff, and they play some good football, they got some good players, but I'm just going to go with a 3-1 to the Villa. Let me know your score predictions in the comments below. And also, as all people, like I said before, big up Tyrone Mings, back in training and stuff like that, love to see it, man. And yeah, man, hopefully his recovery keeps going well and stuff. And yeah, man, he's back in the squad because, like I said, when it comes to centre-backs, we've had a lot of injuries, man, and we can do with a player like Tyrone Mings in the squad right now, people. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on the game. Any Fulham fans watching, let me know your thoughts, your score predictions, your predicted lineups, And yeah, stay tuned for the match reaction after the game. And hopefully, it's a Villa win. Come on, people. Like, comment, subscribe, and up the Villa.